everyone, it's Alyssa coming at you with another slow fashion video. This week I thought I would do a little bit of a capsule wardrobe exercise, but I took the idea from Mademoiselle Jamie, who recently did a video called If I Had a 30 Item Wardrobe, and I thought this was a really interesting twist on not necessarily creating a capsule, but looking at the abundance that is already your closet and truly narrowing down what are the pieces that you find yourself wearing over and over again, or what are the pieces that you truly could not go without. And I thought this was a really interesting exercise because it kind of flips the perspective on limiting yourself with a capsule wardrobe and really almost you know, shopping your closet for your ideal collection. At least that's how I saw it. I have 25 here. That was the number that it ended up at once I went through my summer pieces and really narrowed them down. So I thought I would go through those pieces with you today. And I truly don't think that there is a magic number for anyone. Our lifestyles are different. The climates that we live in are so different. So grab your tea or whatever it is that you've currently got to drink at the moment, uh, and let's jump on in. Actually, I lied. Before we jump in, there were three key lessons that I really benefited from from doing this exercise. Number one, I really felt validated in my summer outfit uniform. And the beauty of understanding this is that you can then change it up and use this outfit formula in a number of different iterations. And the second thing that really hit home for me was the style vibe. Once I looked at all of the pieces that I tend to wear on a very regular basis, it really helped me understand my preferred style vibe. What is the look that I like to give off, no matter the occasion? And understanding and knowing your own personal style vibe, I think, is very important because it gives you a wonderful guidepost when you are putting outfits together. And the third lesson, once you've figured out these must-have pieces for you and your personal style, you can then expand on them only if you need to. Like, don't go crazy and explode your closet for no reason because that's just mindless consumption, which is no good. But I am saying is that if you have a gap in your closet, you can literally use those key items as a blueprint. And then depending on if you require, say, another dress or another separate, you can look to this collection and then just choose the same piece, but perhaps with a different fabric or a different color or a print, for example. So for me, this is truly a summer seasonal collection. Okay, here are the pieces. The first, I have to show you, a bag. I got a new bag. This is a big deal. If you've been watching for the past like year, I've been saying I need a new bag. I currently have a very big, beautiful backpack that converts from a shoulder bag to a backpack. Um, but I really wanted something that was a medium size. I wanted it to be structured because I find a structured bag really adds that sense of polish to a look. So I am so happy. This bag was actually a PR gift from Kuyana. This isn't sponsored. They're, they didn't even ask me to talk about it in a YouTube video. But what I really love about their website is that they have a whole care section on the different fabrics that they use. And for me, garment maintenance is a huge part of maintaining your wardrobe for a really long time and just caring for your clothes. I can't believe it. I got a bag. Oh, I'm neat. The next item might seem a little bit odd because it would also probably end up in a winter capsule, but this is my black wool blazer from Club Monaco. It's a really beautiful medium to lightweight wool, and this would act as my jacket for the summer season. It gets so hot here, as I mentioned, that we really don't need outerwear, so this beautiful polished blazer, gosh, I wear it. I really, I'm surprised at how often I wear it in the summer. And I do have to say that this black blazer definitely doesn't go with every single one of the other items in my little capsule collection. And that's where that principle of finding a piece like this, but in another color or in another iteration, is a great, again, kind of goalpost to think about when I'm actually looking for another blazer. My one piece of occasion wear is this beautiful tan 
linen maxi dress that I found in Greece. I think this was on my first visit to Greece. Uh, I bought it in Agios Nikolaos, which is on the island of Crete. I've worn it to weddings before, but it can equally be dressed down. This is my button-down shirt dress. You've heard me talk about how much I love shirt dresses in many videos, so I'm not gonna go over why. I just love this silhouette so much. I think a shirt dress... Oh gosh, here I am, starting to talk about it. Stop it. Um, if you are wondering how versatile a shirt dress is, I, one of my very first videos I did was about how to style a shirt dress 20 ways. I'm gonna link it down below. I can also wear it as a beach or pool cover-up. Those two dresses I've really been able to cover both formal occasions as well as the most casual of occasions. Gosh, I feel like this is gonna be long. 25 pieces is a lot. I'm gonna try and go through it very quickly. But what I also wanted to say <laughs> during this little tea break is that aside from the little cutouts that I'm gonna show you, I'm thinking of doing a second part to this video where I show you all of the outfits that I'm able to put together within this little collection. So if that's something you'd like to see, just let me know in the comments below. Okay, I got so much use out of this skirt when I brought it with me to Italy last season. It's a beautiful vintage silk number. It's got great flow so it keeps me nice and cool, but it's also part of a very classic overall silhouette which seems to be a silhouette that I gravitate towards as well. As for shorts, I still lean on denim a lot during the summer, probably too much. Um, I have these great cutoffs, they're high-waisted, um, I've had them for about a year, and I recently just added this pair of linen shorts linen amazing on my list i couldn't believe i found these i found them secondhand at a really great consignment boutique near me i have three different tops oh my goodness they are so bright in this light a silk one which is comfortable enough to wear fairly often but is a great way to dress up shorts and pants if needed and then my two ugh, power of my people button downs if you've been on here for a while, then you know I absolutely love these button-down shirts. Um, Power of My People is an incredible Canadian company that really specializes in making beautifully tailored uh, shirts, and these are two of my absolute favorites. This one is in linen, this one is in cotton. Uh, I do have a discount code below, so I will leave that for you because um, these have been, these have become some of the best loved pieces in my closet. I have two t-shirts, a white and a black. This white one is a little bit more formal. It's got a beautiful drape, a wider collar, and interesting seams down the front. And this black one here is from Organic Basics. It's actually a men's black tee. I love the way Organic Basics pieces just fall and drape on the body. They look really rich, even though it's just a plain t-shirt, so uh, big fan of those. I also have a discount code for Organic Basics, so I will leave that for you down below as well. And a little tank top. I love how this one has a deep V on both sides. It's a little bit loose, so when you tuck it in, it has a really nice, almost vintage feel, and it's not super tight on the body. I've been wearing these three pants very often. I included this pair of like their beautiful eyelet um, pant and I definitely find them more of an occasion wear piece so they're definitely not in as much of a rotation as these guys or my shorts would be but I really wanted to add them because they add that sense of fun and whimsy that I really like in the summer. The rest of my items are accessories. I have five pairs of shoes. I don't know if this seems excessive to you for a capsule closet, but I always find that shoes are the key factor in changing the way an outfit looks. But frankly, shoes are like the best part of any wardrobe, in my opinion. The first two pairs are these everyday sandals. I love how this is a platform, so it gives me a bit of height, but the pitch is actually not very high. So these are incredibly comfortable. Bought them in Italy a long time ago. Uh, and these are secondhand Moschino. And I thought it was important for me to have a black pair of shoes in this little collection because I do have a couple of black pieces in there and that can come across as a little bit harsh in the summer months. So it's really important for me to add a little bit of cohesiveness and almost bookend the look with more than one black piece. A pair of sneakers 
sneakers. These are my Veja. I also like how there's a little bit of black in there too. Party shoes. You've seen these before. These are my Manolo Blahniks that I wore to my wedding. Finally, my metallic Burberry flats, which I will be repainting thanks to some of your suggestions after that shoe video, so thank you. Moving on to belts. Much like shoes, I rely heavily on belts to just bring a look together or add a little bit of polish. I've got three here and they all really reflect the colors that are in my capsule closet. And I remember when I received this bag, I was really worried that because these are two similar textures but different colors, I really worried about wearing them together, but I actually think they look okay together. And I mean, if we all strive for like perfect perfection on matching prints and colors and textures, then I mean, if it were me, I would just be naked all the time because I would never be happy. Like, I think striving for perfection in what we wear is a huge inhibitor to being happy with what we already have. Uh, and lastly, my silk Gucci scarf vintage, which you have most likely seen before. I just find this is another great way to add a little bit of whimsy and color. So that is what I have for you today. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you liked this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it or if you learned something new. Hit subscribe if you haven't if you haven't already. And do let me know if you want to see a lookbook using all of these pieces. I would happily do that for you as a little part two. Thank you so much again to Mademoiselle Jamie for giving me this idea. I thought it was so much fun to do. I hope you have a wonderful week ahead. I know I already said it, but thank you for watching. It really means a lot. Uh, and I will see you in the next little fashion video. Ciao.